everybody welcome back so today we are going to be looking at a bunch of different glues and we're going to see how they measure up to each other um, you may have noticed that this video is a little late um, and the reason is I was trying to figure out how do you compare different glues you know um, most of what I do is sort of I don't know very um, small scale of what you can actually do with glue so I had to think of how I was going to try and make this as inclusive as possible for everyone so the different glues that I have I have the um, what is this uh, Couture Creations all-purpose art glue I have the Turby Turby the Turbo Tacky glue I have the normal tacky glue the quick dry adhesive i have the i think it's montmart monte mart mont anyway uh, that is a signature craft glue i have the tombow mono liquid glue this is the aqua i have a turbo precision glue pen i have some dollar gold glue sticks and then I have my old favorites that I usually use, which is um, my normal Tombow. You can see that's been well used. That's the multi. And then I also have um, a Pinal wood glue that I've used for uh, card stocks. So I will just look at the different prices in these. Um, so we can obviously look at which is your, um, your best option, let's say. So the first thing I want to do, let's move all of these across. Um, so what most of us will use these for is cardstock. So I'm not going to do the panel because I already know the results with that one. And I can tell you exactly what the results are going to be. So what I want to do is I want to put here, so I've got six different um, things that I want to do. So I'm just labeling them. This is A, this will be uh, B, uh, let's do this one as C, you can hardly see that, D, and this will be E. And then F. So the Tombow, um, the green Tombow, I can tell you it's great for cardstock. What I love about it is that you don't need a lot of it for it to stick. So if you're doing small elements, uh, that's this one. If you're doing small elements, uh, especially like, let's say, if you look in there, the little gold NE. So something like that, you don't want to have to sit and spend time trying to figure out, or not figure out, trying to put glue on every little piece. So what I like about this is you can put a couple little spots or whatever it is you want to call it, and it will work great. So something else that I also have is these precision tips, but we'll get to that in a minute. So the first thing I want to do is I want to write A to F here. And what I want to do is I want to put a drop of glue on each one. So this is F. And I just want to do that. Let's close it up. This is your tacky glue. Oops, that was a lot. Okay, so let's try and spread it a bit. So what I want to see is how much it's actually going to make the cardstock warp. I'm going to have to clean all of these. So one thing that I do love about the Tombow glues is that they have this really cool edge here. So when you're doing a large surface, you can actually um, spread it around. And it's just a lot easier. So we then have our quick draw, which is our C, I think. Yeah, that's A. Um, 
and then we have our all-purpose here so the nice thing about the all-purpose is it already has a precision tip on it uh, do we have to open I think we have to open this one so so far all of them yeah this one's got a little uh, what do you call this thing a little seal so far all of them have not had seals Okay, so it's, it's, it is important to note that I am using a, a um, it is important to note that I am using an AC cardstock. So, so far I'm not seeing any warping. And right off the bat I can see that A, which is your tacky glue, is a lot runnier than pretty much any of them. C and D are nice and thick. F is also pretty thick. E, so E is your tacky glue. So the turbo tacky glue and the tacky glue are both quite thin. Oopsie. B is also thin. So all of, I've got it all over me now. So these three are a lot thinner. Um, and I think why that's going to be important, I'll show you now once I've stopped creating chaos. <laughs> So we're going to leave that. As you can see from the back, I'm starting to see some warping happening. And we have... We have D warping first. D is actually our mono liquid glue. And F. F being our Montmartre craft glue. So why is this important? It is important because it will tell you how long you have once you've applied those glues to actually get it spread out. So what I would do with a glue like that is I would actually put it into a plastic container, which you can see I've done. Um, I've got plastic containers here. I've done it before. I would put it into a plastic container and I would apply it using a paintbrush. That way I get a smooth, even um, coating of, of uh, glue, and it's not going to give me warping. So, one of the things that I do look for when doing 3D cardstock crafts, let's move this out the way, is can I maneuver my glue once it has been applied? So this is important, um, especially if you're working with a th 3D cardstock craft that has a lot of uh, curves or edges. So I'll show you why this is important. So let's just fold that. So what you would be looking for, okay, so this is our Montmartre. See, we've got to open it. So what we would be looking for is something that is not going to warp it, but that is also movable. So why is that important? Because if you apply it like that and you wanted it at the top, then you would be able to slide it. You would also want something that dries quickly so that when you let go of it, it doesn't pop apart. Because remember, when you're doing a 3D cardstock craft, um, it's not always easy to, um, what do you call it, hold it down while trying to um, do the next piece. So the quicker it dries, the better. So there we have another one. Let's apply it and slide it. So straight off the bat, I prefer this one. You can see straight away it hooked. So that is our tacky glue. Couture Creations tacky glue. Now we're going to try the Tombow mono liquid glue. Now remembering I'm not putting a lot of each glue on. Um, 
we obviously don't want it smudging out the sides. This one is very movable. This Tombow Mono. But when I look at it, it's not holding very well. So this is one you would have to hold for a bit longer, I think. So let's put that there. And then we're going to have our quick dry adhesive. We're going to have a look at that. You can really see I've got glue dust everywhere. Oh, so the quick dry adhesive does seem to dry, oopsie, dry pretty quickly. And I'm getting glue everywhere. Oopsie, that was a lot, lot, lot. So we don't need that much. Let's get some of that off. Okay, this one is also slidable. And I did use a lot, so let's smush some of that out. Obviously, quantity that you use is very important. And I like this one so far. Oopsie. Oopsie. I've got glue all over my fingers. Okay, then we're going to try the last two. So this is our all-purpose. So what I like about the all-purpose is it has this precision tip already. So you don't have to go out and buy anything extra. It's there already. So this one is not very slidable, as you could see. So I don't know if this would be great for a cardstock craft, like a 3D craft specifically. And then we have our Turbo Tacky Glue. Which is nice and slidable. Okay. So, so far, I'm happy with all of them, barring that one. That's for a 3D cardstock craft. So, let's just have a look at how we're warping here. So, so far, one, two, three, four, five of them have warped. C has not. So C is your quick dry adhesive. So your quick dry adhesive, even though you've got a big dollop on it, it has not warped the cardstock. You can see that one, two, three, four, five. There's nothing there. So if we look at it, that's C. So so far, the quick dry adhesive is the one that is going to give you the least warping, if any. So let's just have a look. Your quick dry adhesive still. Oh, that one's actually almost dry. That one's still very wet, still very wet, still very wet, still very wet, still very wet. Okay, so our Turbo Precision Glue Pen is fast drying. So I would take this as, let's just have a look here. So we weren't going to test this one. Uh, I think we may be blocked up here. Yep, we're blocked up there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use one of our pins from our tips. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do those. Oh, there is something here. Oh, there is some sort of a... Um, there is some sort of a covering there, as you can see. Okay. So I want to see which of these this most relates to, uh, which of the other glues it most relates to. This also says fast drying. So that's quite a thick one, as you can see. So I just want to see, um, so what these were supposed to be for, and I'm still super, super confused on these, was you're actually supposed to be able to put it on but I think it's a kind of a tip like that that you're supposed to do it on so you can see this will obviously create its own um, what do you call this thing its own little lines there we are and this is going to be able to give you that sort of very thin line 
um, a little tiny dot. This is going to give you a lot more precision to work with. So that's what these tips are for. I don't think you can put them onto here. Um, I don't know if there's a way that you can remove this. I'm going to probably break it. Yeah, I don't think you can actually remove that, which um, a little bit disappointed about. A little bit. Okay, so let's just have a look at our warping. And again, we're still only warped there. So the problem with warping cardstock is that once it warps, that's it, it's done. Okay, so let's have a look at how this is the Montmartre one. That's given us a nice solid seal, as you can see. The tacky glue has also given us a nice solid seal. The Tombow Mono Aqua, also a very nice seal. And this is our all-purpose art glue. That one seems like it's still wet. I don't know if I think. Yeah, that one's still not great. Okay, then we have our large quick dry adhesive. And this one is like, wow, this one's on there. And then we have our turbo tacky glue. So overall, unfortunately, I think this one is the one that I would not choose for a cardstock craft. Um, if I had to choose one out of all of them, I would probably go for the quick dry adhesive. Um, simply because it's given no warping at all. Um, and obviously it dries quickly it's easy to use so so far I think that would be the one that I would choose for my cardstock crafts so now what I want to do is I want to move over to something that's a little bit more complex so just to show you as well um, the pin is to keep inside of your precision tip so when you're not using it you keep it in there and it will keep it um, open and free of glue so when you want to use it it's there okay so now we're going to do something that's a little bit more fun uh, how did I do these oh, sorry I'm just trying to find my tweezers okay so now we're going to do some rolled flowers now I've actually got a project coming up for rolled flowers um, so I'm excited to see which glue if any work for this so remember we start from the outside and we just kind of roll so previously I had to buy quite a um, quite a what, what do you call it quite a chemically glue in order for it to hold this so I'll be quite excited if one of these is able to hold it and one of the important things here is that you don't want to have to hold it for too long. So we're starting with our Montmartre. Okay. Oopsie. So far it's looking good. I've stuck it and it seems to be holding so we will leave that and we'll move on to the next one so this is butterfly cardstock um, that might be important to note I may or may not use them for my upcoming project um, depending how much I like it <laughs> right now we're going to be using the tacky glue Okay, hold it for a couple seconds. 
Now let's let go and see what happens. This seems to be holding too. Wow. I'm actually pretty impressed because um, like your panel glue, it's just not strong enough. Um, it just unwinds when you let go of it or shortly after. Oh goodness, I just wrecked that flower. <gasps> no! Okay, now we're using the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. Okay, hold for a couple seconds like we did with the others. And it seems to be holding. So we're going to let these dry. Okay, this is our all purpose with our precision tip. And you can see I am putting quite a bit of glue. Um, hopefully, oopsie, that was my fault. Hopefully not so much that it shows through because that's something else we'll look at. Okay, this is our quick dry adhesive. Oh, you see what happened there? Our whole flower unrolled. So, so far the quick dry is the only one that the flowers have actually unrolled for. But the quick dry is my favorite so far for cardstock because it doesn't warp it. So do we really need more than one glue in our life? You know what? I think we actually do. <laughs> Okay, this is Turbo Tacky Glue. Now, what I would have loved to have been able to do, um, which I guess I could in the future, is see how the glue holds up after some time. So like after a month, two months, um, because I have found with a certain glue that after two months the whole thing fell apart so that's why I'm very particular about what I use um, you know and, and what application I use it with okay so our Montmartre is stuck and it's held beautifully so that's this one look how pretty that flower came out our tacky glue is still a little wet Okay, but it's still, it's beautiful and it's stuck. Our Tombow is also still wet, but it's stuck. Our all-purpose art glue seems to be dry and it's stuck. So these ones we've just done. So we'll look back at those in a minute. Let's again look at our glues. Um, so I want to see, are they dry? Not dry, not dry, not dry, not dry, not dry, not dry, and basically dry. So I have put a dollop on each one. It's not that one's got more than the other. They're all a big dollop. And as you can see, everything but the, uh, these are in the wrong order everything but the quick dry adhesive has warped the cardstock so that goes there you can see that can you see that 
so you can see the little warp marks let me just I don't know if you can see it but here's one here's one here's one there's our long one there's our baby one there's our other one and there's our other one Okay, so what I want to try, I've got some stuff that I'm going to be sticking here. Um, I want to try, let's try with our all-purpose art glue. Simply because it's got the precision tip. Let's see how easily it is or how easy it is to apply without applying too much. So already I, I feel like I've applied too much. The last thing you want with any cardstock craft is for it to smush out the sides, which it's done. It's smushed out everywhere. So while I do love this, I don't think that it's absolutely perfect for precision work. So let me show you what I would do. Let's try a quick dry adhesive. I would put a little bit in there. And this is usually how I do them. And this is great for your cardstock crafts. It's great for pretty much anything. And then I would actually use my paintbrush to apply it. And then, oopsie, we would put this on here. like so okay so my final say on the small elements is that I think for all of them and it's important to note that I do it with this Tombow as well oopsie put it into a bowl first and then put it onto your cardstock okay so the next thing that I want to try and this is something I do often. So I'm going to take six pieces of EVA. So he, these ones, I want to stick EVA to, to EVA. So I'm going to cut those in half. Now one thing I've found is that EVA is quite difficult to stick to itself. And it's even more difficult to stick to acetate. So let's start by sticking EVA to EVA. So already I have tried the Tombow, the multi one, and I wasn't entirely happy with it. So I'm going to show you what I usually use. So I speak about this in all of my videos. I have die cut and bond. And what I do is I layer it all over my EVA. So this is actually EVA. There it is under there. Can you see that? And then when I do my cake toppers, what I do is I actually layer it like so. And for me, what I love about this is that your glue does not leak out the sides. Because you've got to remember, you're filling your cake topper. Oopsie. So if it leaks out the sides, um, you're going to get that clumpy look on the inside of your cake topper. There we are. So the downside to this is that if your lineup is not correct, it's going to be off. But the upside is it's an instant bond. Look at that instant bond. And that is a strong bond. So I'll show you with the acetate. Okay, so with our acetate. We would just remove that. Stick it on. And again, you have an instant, very strong seal. So I am pulling very hard when I pull this. But your cake top is not going to have that much force. 
So what I like to do is I do that. If it doesn't come off, that's a good bond. So that is what I want to achieve with one of these. So again, let's go and add some glue. Okay, we're going to let these dry. And we're going to move on to something else. So for this one, we're going to be doing uh, some ribbon. So we're going to put a line. And that's our turbo tacky. So I'm doing them in order. And we're going to stick our ribbon down. So immediately it's gone through the ribbon. Let's see what happens when it dries. Not gone through, gone through, not gone through, gone through, gone through. So that's quite quite cool, actually. Okay, so if I look in the light, I can see the glue marks, even on the last one. So the only one you can't see the glue marks on is our quick dry adhesive. So now what we're going to do, now that I've got glue everywhere, look at that. Now we're actually going to stick ribbon to ribbon. I've only got four pieces of ribbon for some reason, because I can't count. Now we're going to stick the ribbon to itself. Now there's many reasons why you would do this. Um, maybe you're making paper flowers or I don't know, whatever your application is. Ah, that one's come apart. So this is our tacky glue. Look at all of this yucky glue dried on me. Okay, so the tacky glue is not liking this. I think we got it to stick. Let's see if we can get this one to stick now again. I think the problem is as well that my fingers are starting to get sticky. So as I'm working, they're actually sticking to... And please do excuse the gross little glue particles that are lying everywhere now. Let's get rid of our glue particles. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick one of these guys onto the paper so we can see how it holds a rhinestone. Now... I want to actually just unplug my, or plug in my glue gun so that we can have a look at that and how I would actually use that. Like what application would I use glitter glue sticks for? Okay, so I just had to empty my glue gun. It's all emptied here. Oopsie, we don't want to smush those up. Um, where would I use my glue gun? So uh, in my last video, I made this board. I still haven't finished it off, but these glue lines. I actually want to use the glue stick to make those glue lines. That way you're getting a much neater glue line, as you can see. So another thing you can do is when you want to add accents. Okay, so what I do find with the glue gun, it is a bit harder to control where the stuff goes but we've got our accent you can actually make that a bit bigger so let's do a big dollop again it's hard to control 
And that's not just these glue sticks, that's any glue sticks. Oopsie. Oh, some of my glue from my fingers just went in there, that's gross. There we are. So what you can do is you can you can write with it if if you're good at writing. I am not. Again, I'm not good at it. <laughs> but to me, this is not a glue stick that you would use like a normal one where you're sticking things down. This would be more if you wanted it to be seen. So here it's not seen. You're losing your glitter effect. Here it is seen. It would have been better had my grimy paws not been on it. And then one thing I do want to try, and it's probably a bit dangerous. Uh, oopsie. I really hope I don't mess up my dirty mold. I have seen this done. Sorry, my mold's a bit dirty. Okay, now you don't want to touch your mold. I might burn it, but hey, let's try. And then we're going to use something just to smush that down, press it out. This is messy. Oh my goodness, why did I do this? Why? I don't know why. Just because I want to see. Oopsie, it's still very warm. Oopsie. <gasps> and I was going to work. Why did I Why did I mess it up? Okay, let's try to fix it because I messed that up. But look at that, it was working. It was working. Oops. Oh, that's our acetate one. Oops, we're breaking it. Okay, let's leave that to dry and see what happens. Okay, so we've seen what we'll do with the glitter glue sticks. It's not a huge, well, it, it is hugely versatile. Um, I guess the limits are your imagination, um, but it's not really meant for like gluing stuff together like your usual glue gun uh, or your usual glue sticks. So let's just feel. Okay, let's see if we. So that one. Okay. That one is not good at all. So that is our Tombow Mono Aqua. These ones at least are tearing our paper. Our quick dry adhesive is amazing that one's at least tearing the paper and that one's at least tearing the paper so why is why are these tearing the paper and this one's not reason being this has not actually saturated the paper so you can see that in our warping it was the only one that didn't warp, which means that it hasn't actually saturated the cardstock or the paper. That's why when you're pulling it, it's not actually tearing your cardstock. So, so far that's my favorite. Oopsie, let's move these aside. Right, now our ribbon. Our Turbo Tacky Glue. It's dry, but it has not stuck. With our all-purpose art glue it's still damp but it has stuck not a great stick but it has stuck with our quick dry adhesive that's given quite a good bond our Tombow mono liquid is still very wet and it's come apart while we've tried to do it. Our tacky glue is slightly damp but 
that's very wet still and then our this is our Montmartre and it is still very wet so with our flowers Montmartre tacky glue ah to our tacky glue not a good one not great not great for flowers with our Tombow stuck nicely our quick dry adhesive hey that's stuck nicely so nicely that I broke the flower our all-purpose art glue and our turbo tacky so the only one here that didn't work out great was the tacky glue that's stuck together here though so maybe it was just the way that it was stuck down that it didn't like so EVA to EVA that's still wet that's still wet uh, quick dry adhesive also still wet and our Tombow is wet our tacky glue wet and our Montmartre wet these you can see still wet still wet still wet our quick dry adhesive is still wet as well and our all-purpose art glue our all-purpose art glue feels generally dry but it is still a little bit wet and that's still wet so we'll leave those for a bit longer um, and then let's obviously talk about what we've done so far so far the quick dry adhesive from Couture Creations is standing out for me um, ribbon on ribbon it worked well ribbon on cardstock it worked well um, there we are that's on nicely that's on nice that one did not work well turbo tacky was not a good option for the gem the tombow mono the lick the aqua one not a good so i think the only two that i wouldn't use for gems are those two and then oopsie for cardstock crafts, I am going to try the quick dry adhesive and see how that works. That would be for stuff with larger applications where I don't want warping. Again, I do suggest obviously not adding a dollop like this. Go and, and let's feel that's pretty dry. They're all starting to dry nicely now. Some of them are still very wet. And I do think it's important the drying time, especially if you're doing a cardstock craft. Let's have a look at our, ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that would have worked out well had I not ruined it by touching it. But how cool is that? And that is with um, the glitter glue gun. So obviously uh, I did touch it and mess it up, but that's pretty cool. So I would do stuff like that with your glitter glue gun, glitter glue gun obviously a neater version so i'm going to leave these to dry for a bit and then we will have a look at those um those ones so we've obviously seen with the ribbon some of them are not great at all some of them um, work pretty well and then we've seen with the rolled flowers so the things that i'm doing require quite a bit of hold um there's like pressure with the flower pulling apart there's pressure with the eva and the acetate for the the cake toppers so those do require quite a strong bond um, and that's obviously what i'm looking for so far i'm leaning towards sticking to my die cut and bond um and for cardstock crafts it will be between the tombow because i love it and the quick dry adhesive um, all of them obviously have their place, uh, sorry, all of them obviously have their place, they have their things that they're, they're good at, none of them are a bad glue, 
but let's say for instance you only work with ribbon or you make ribbon flowers you're not going to go and buy the turbo tacky or the tombow uh, liquid glue the aqua one because it's not actually going to hold your ribbon um if you only work with eva and acetate uh, so yeah EVA, yeah eva and acetate then you're obviously not going to go with whichever one doesn't hold we're going to see that just now you would then go for something like the dark cut and bond do i think that it's worthwhile to have more than one glue yes i do i don't think you can ever have enough glue and i think that you will find that some of them work a lot better than others for certain applications um every glue has its strength and if you know what their specific strengths are which is stuff that you'll find out over time um, you'll know more or less what to go for oopsie I stuck glue on my desk so again this is a huge factor for me look at how that's warped some of them that's like a whole dent there and they are still wet that one's dry uh, that's actually dry that one's still wet that one's still wet and that one's still wet so that is a huge factor especially if you're doing a 3d cardstock craft you don't have a lot of drying time so you need something that is going to dry quickly okay so while i was waiting for the glues to dry i started with one of my cake toppers that i'm busy with can you see these strings i'm not sure if you can so i thought let me try the quick dry adhesive and i've just realized that for precision work it's not great why because as I'm applying it with a paintbrush, I am getting little, um, what do you call it, little strings. And those strings you don't want. Why? Because they're going to be visible on your cake topper and they're not going to look good. So I will now have to go and obviously see if I can get rid of those. Um, with my tweezers so the quick dry when you decant it it starts to dry almost immediately and what happens when you try and take some is it creates little strings can you see that not sure if you can see that there's actually a string attaching so why I like uh, let's say like the turbo tacky you can or the tacky this is the tacky to be honest i'm not sure what the difference is between the tacky and the turbo tacky um something like that you can actually put it into the bowl and you can get it off with no strings so my favorite for precision work is my tombow what happens with the tombow is it actually stays sticky so even if i use a little bit I know that I'm getting a good bond whereas with something like your tacky glue it is going to stay oopsie it's going to stay liquid for a lot longer and you're more likely to lose your pieces okay so it's been about half an hour and I have been using a mix of the Tombow green and the quick dry adhesive I think so far those are my favorites so let's have a look this is our Montmartre and it is not EVA to EVA and EVA to acetate not good uh, tacky glue EVA to acetate not good EVA to EVA not good either this is our Tombow Mono that one yeah still wet and that not good so this is our quick dry adhesive that's actually worked pretty well it's worked decently for the eva to eva it's not great but it's also not really bad this is our all-purpose art glue that's dry but it just it hasn't stuck yep no bond there this is our turbo tacky glue and yeah no bond there so all in all i don't think any of these are good let's just there we are i don't think any of them are good for my cake toppers so i would not have half an hour to sit around and wait for this to dry while i have 
in order to get out um, so for that I'm going to stick to my die cut and bond I absolutely love the die cut and bond you can use it to make smart sticker cardstock you can use it for so many different applications you can even use it as a double-sided tape so that is what I will stick to for my EVA and acetate um, in terms of the other glues my favorites has to be my green Tombow and my quick draw adhesive I do think that if you work within the limitations of each one they're all great I mean they're all glues they all work well um, that one I actually broke so obviously in terms of ribbon the Tombow Aqua not great um, and it was the it was actually the Turbo Tacky glue A eh? that also was not great other than that they are all bonded so I don't think that you should rush out and buy the most expensive one um, obviously I will continue to test these I will continue to use them for different applications and then obviously I will report back on what I find what I do ask is if you have any ideas of how I can test these glues for you um, if there's something you do specifically that I haven't touched on in this video then do let me know um, and I will test it out for you and I'll let you know how it goes Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that was a little bit informative and it maybe helped you decide which glue to go with. Um, and I will see you soon.